Okay, it's going to be very, very fast. Uh, but afterwards, I'm here uh, to discuss it. As I say, as I always say, Ishti Kvartzi Ali Partsuf Bamakor, Niktai Partsuf Bamakor, as I'm here at Mucha. So, um, my name is uh, Nimrod Bar Levin. I'm the CEO and co founder of uh, Dynamo. Um, I want to uh, go in brief, uh, telling you what it is that we do, not in order to sell. Uh, but in order for you to better understand the ways we use uh, analytics with Amplitude, by the way, since uh, day one, even before we had uh, three teammates. Um, and that's uh, it. Uh, we, we, we are in the business of parent and uh, smartphones and uh, screens. Uh, this is our third uh, company together, my co-founder and myself. We are parents. I have three uh, boys, uh, two boys and a boy, as I say, because I have twins. Um, Parents as parents, I don't know how many parents are in the crowd, but uh, in the end of the day, we want to raise successful kids. Now, the problem with the smartphone is that they kind of, kind of get in our way. In, in which way? In the end of the day, as parents, we're trying to do three main things. One is to get our kids to learn more about their world. The second thing is to let ourselves or, or to bring ourselves to learn more about our own kids. And the last but not least is good communication between ourselves and our kids and vice versa. Now the smartphones are ruining each, uh, each and every one of these uh, three verticals. Now in Dynamo we found a way, we found a way or created a way, or the way it found us, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but we created a way where uh, it's upside down, it's 180 degrees uh, switch. Um, we, created, um, uh, we created an app which uh, sits on the kid's device, okay? It sits on the uh, lock screen of the kids. Now there are 500 million kids around the world with their smartphones today. They open their devices 20 times a day. It means that there are 10 billion digital interactions a day. Now we will not rest until we have, uh, uh, we will create value in each and every one of these two, uh, 10 billion. In the end of the day, every, with, the, with the Dynamo Kid app, every time the kid turns on his or her phone, there's a positive interaction that he or she cannot dismiss. Uh, it could be from, uh, let's say, 5 times 6 equals uh, 30, 32, or 40. It could be uh, um, a nice did you know, a fun fact, and things like that. So in the end of the day, we stream hundreds of thousands of positive interactions every week to kids. So we have three uh, uh, verticals or three dimensions into our analytics. Um, first one is parents. We, we measure and we, we work with amplitude about the product, of course. Also, marketing and data. When I say data, um, not related uh, specifically to product and marketing, I mean general questions that we have, okay? General business questions that we ask ourselves. For example, how, how to create the best uh, cohort that will bring us to, uh, um, uh, to better uh, um, KPIs uh, or levels. We have the kids uh, environment, which is, uh, uh, we deal mainly with the product, with the app of the kid uh, and data. And we have families. Families is uh, a parent, in Dynamo at least, it's a parent with the parent app installed and the kid with the kid app installed. And we, have, we don't have a product for a family, but we have lots of data for a family. We, we measure retention of a family, okay? We have uh, parents with more than one kid, okay? And we do these kind of things. I want to show you uh, three, as I call them, uh, nano case studies. And um, uh, it's, again, it's pretty shallow because we don't have a lot of time. And you waited a lot. Um, but uh, I do want to show you how we use it. And this is all real, you know, in a world uh, of uh, fake news. This is 100% uh, uh, authenticated and uh, with authenticity. Um, this is uh, um, um, an experiment that we've done. At the end of the day, a startup is an experiment lab. You know, I think you will agree. Um, we've done uh, uh, a 2.6x uh, on conversion to trial. Okay, our trial is through the, uh, um, the parent app. The payment is through the parent app. Okay, and we created uh, um, uh, some sort of uh, element. We call it we call it the elementary school experiment. Instead of using um, uh, content and questions from uh, you know math and languages and things like that, we simply went to schools and we asked parents and teachers to uh, stream to our system the material for the next exam and quiz in English, geography, math, and things like that. And it jumped, uh, um, everything is relative in life, 
but it jumped uh, uh, our conversion to trial. Okay, because people felt, I hope, I think that people people felt more engaged to the next exam, or parents felt more engaged to the next ex English exam uh, they could have. So we do a lot of uh, A, B, or it was, we call it A, Z testings because we have tons of branches. Um, so this is one experiment. Uh, one of my investors is a Professor Shimon Shoken, and uh, he taught me that there is no such thing as a negative information. Okay, so I'll do a small paraphrase. Uh, there is no such thing as a negative or unsuccessful experiment. Okay, we have an hypothesis and we try it, and sometimes it doesn't work, at least not for long. In this case, a small reminder, the, the, the kid app is built on the lock screen of the, of the kid's device, and whenever uh, uh, the kid uh, uh, is choosing the right answer in questions, uh, in multiplication, in, in multi-choice questions, okay, there's a small animation. Now check the resolution here. We created an A-B testing uh, on the lock screen on the length of the animation. We're talking about milliseconds, right? And we saw that in the first days, you know, there's a plus uh, six retention, which is 6% in uh, retention, at least in the first day, is very, very good. Okay, but late, but, but, even the mic is, uh... <laughs> thank you. Okay, okay. The door came out of Okay, that's all we show me. Check, check. So, um, uh, so in the end of the day, we saw that after, by the way, retention. Okay, with kids we measure daily retention. With parents we measure everything in weekly. Okay, so uh, uh, in the end of the day, it didn't work so well. So we had another uh, experiment uh, went to where it belongs. Uh, the last uh, nano. This is better, you know, and with a good feeling. Um, this is something we've done, we call, we call it the teaser feature. So we have an amazing frequency of use. Now you can say <laughs> you're on the lock screen. Well, of course you will have an uh, amazing uh, frequency of use, but we didn't, we have 21.8 times a day, every day, the users, the kids are using our app. Together with uh, almost 50% retention, I'm talking about weeks, it's pretty nice, but we didn't stop there. This is the amount, the average amount of times Okay, the interactions of a kid with uh, uh, the Dynamo app. And we, so, we told ourselves um, that maybe we can even bring it to higher levels, okay, to higher levels by adding another thing into the flow. So what we've done, after the kid is answering, after five questions, the kid is answered uh, five questions, there's a small teaser which pops over the screen and tells him or her, listen, you've uh, uh, you've managed to answer right 10 uh, questions today, 10 more questions, you will break your uh, daily record. 50% of the kids choose it and enter voluntary, no, voluntary, to, uh, uh, to answer more questions. In the end of the day, uh, for example, this brought us to the, the saying, by the way, everything is connected to everything by me uh, uh, as a CEO, I'm usually I'm trying to bring more money to the company, so it, uh, it, it's, I started to say that with Dynamo, there's a mir miracle, or in Hebrew, Nesavui, that happens, that kids are solving hundreds of uh, multiplication tables, Luach HaKefer, in a week, without fighting or slash killing their parents. So this is uh, pretty uh, uh, nice. Um, I just want to add one thing about what you said. One of the problems with the uh, uh, long-lasting retention uh, okay, in our case, we, we put a mark, a very big mark, on the 90 days retention mark. In, in, in a nutshell, we can talk about it later if you want, uh, after 90 days, you are, if you have good retention, okay, you are starting to uh, become, or the, the look and feel of your product, in the end of the day of the usage, is more of a utility than a game. Now, utility, it's where we want it to, to be. Okay, we call it uh, getting smarter as a second nature. It's second nature, it's, it's a nature, it, it's for, for a long, long time. So this is something that is very, very important. The problem with it, with long-term uh, uh, re retention, is that you need to wait, quote-unquote wait, at least 90 days. Now, we're not bringing a gazillion users on day one, okay? So we, we, you need to, uh, uh, um, at least in the beginning, most of our experiments Dealt, dealt with the first day retention, seven day retention, 14 day retention max, and only today after a little bit less than a year life, 
we're working a lot with the nine days retention. Uh, I promised uh, three nano uh, case studies in class one tip. Uh, when we started uh, talking, I, I told uh, the nice people here from Amplitude that um, I'm using, I'm not a product, I have a VP product, uh, I used to be the product, but in the end of the day, I'm using Amplitude uh, also uh, in a different way. I'm not sure Amplitude, uh, you know, uh, meant uh, for that to happen. But uh, an investor, I don't know how many of you are raising funds or raised or going to raise funds, but uh, uh, an investor lives on a scale between FOMO, fear of missing out, and false, fear of looking stupid. Now our job, I'm totally serious, our job is to bring his or her FOMO as up or a, a, as high as possible, and the false down as possible. Now I can talk about FOMO, but I'm, not, I'm talking about false now. The, the number one reason, at least as I see it, to reduce the false, to reduce the fear of looking stupid of the investor that later on after he invested, he or she invested in you, his friends will, his friends will tell him that uh, he was stupid, okay, is through data. This is what they grasp, this is what they understand. By the way, I'm not laughing at them, this is probably the best way. Now for that, uh, I truly believe that you need a great visualization tool. Now I have here my iPad, you can see afterwards uh, uh, how I do it. Uh, and, and how I uh, uh, present to investors, but in the end of the day, in the end of the day, I'm using Amplitude. This is this is for real. This is from uh, I don't know how many of you use uh, Amplitude yet, uh, but um, uh, this is from uh, this is like the the, uh, the table of content, quote unquote. And these these are exactly the things that I do that are correlate not well. They are correlate in 100% alignment with the things that I that I say now. I'm trying to I'm trying raising money now because I think that uh, we are not so bad in distribution hacks. Because uh, is there anyone from Facebook here? Right. So Facebook is Satan, okay? Facebook for us is Satan. Why? Because they, it's like drugs, okay? So we must show that we're, we're doing great distribution hacks. We must show that we are raising now Series A. We raised already a uh, pre-seed of uh, 1.7 million dollars. I want to show that I deserve uh, uh, this round A. So I need to show that I'm, I, 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 through data, of course, remember, false, that I'm in product market fit, and we call it money fit, you know, after we enter the, uh, the monetization lane. So in the end of the day, um, uh, this is how I work. I see it as a tool for the CEO, for the marketing, for the product. Any analytics, uh, we specifically use uh, Amplitude again since day one, and it was, uh, Pretty nice. By the way, our uh, VP R and D brought it. I didn't know it before that. Uh, we used other things in our in our previous companies. Um, I'll be more than happy to talk uh, about everything. <laughs> um, and um, that's it, I think. Thank you. Thank you.